हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक रोल ऑफ हाई एल्डिंग वेराइटीज इन फूड सिक्योरिटी सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन हाई एल्डिंग वेराइटीज एंड इट्स रोल इन ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन द ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन इज द टर्म गिवन टू द यूज ऑफ हाई एल्डिंग वेराइटीज ऑफ व्हीट एंड राइस पार्टिकुलरली ड्यूरिंग द लेट नाइनटीन टू इंक्रीज फूड क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन स्पेशली इन इंडिया The new seed varieties popularly called miracle seeds were developed in Mexico for wheat crop and Philippines for rice crop but it was the new dwar varieties of wheat which provided the bigger growth in yields per hectare although the introduction of the high yielding varieties resulted in the large increase in total food production the man who was solely responsible for introducing the high yielding varieties of seeds in india was Dr M S Swaminathan who is known as the father of green revolution in india the green revolution in india refers to a period in india when agriculture was converted into an industrial system due to the adoption of modern methods and technology such as the use of high yielding varieties seeds tractors irrigation facilities pesticides and fertilizers mainly led by agriculture scientist dr m s swaminathan in india this period was part of the larger green revolution endeavor initiated by norman borlaug which leveraged agriculture research and technology to increase agriculture productivity in the developing world dr norman borlaug is known as father of green revolution worldwide under premiership of congress leader Indira Gandhi the green revolution within India commenced in 1966 leading to an increase in food grain production especially in Punjab Haryana and Uttar Pradesh major milestones in this undertaking were the development of high yielding varieties of wheat and rust resistance strains of wheat high yielding variety program the high yielding variety program was launched in 1966 on maize bajra sorghum paddy and wheat five crops with an objective to attain self sufficiency in food by 1970 to 71 prior to this there was release of first four maize hybrids in 1961 to increase the productivity the core philosophy of the program was to increase the productivity of food grains by adopting latest varieties of inputs of crops The high yielding variety program envisaged the introduction of high yielding varieties of seeds there were increased use of fertilizers and pesticides increased irrigation facilities use of tractors motor pumps farm machinery and bank agriculture loans to farmers now to study the characteristics of high yielding varieties which resulted in increase in food production High yielding varieties and hybrids of agriculture crops are usually characterized by combination of the various traits in contrast to the conventional varieties which are playing important role and these can be described as like these high yielding varieties are having the higher crop yield status per unit area compared to conventional varieties as per the data available these high yielding varieties and hybrids were resulted from 20 to 50% yield increase which played important role in increasing the food production and assuring the food security these high yielding varieties are having the characteristics of dwarfness most of the high yielding crops are dwarf and hence their plants are stronger and can withstand strong winds and high rainfall conditions these high yielding varieties are having the improved response to fertilizers the high yield crops give better response to fertilizers and thus their production rate increases substantially these high yielding varieties are having high reliance on irrigation and fertilizer the high yielding crops require more water and fertilizers as compared to the normal varieties of crops which is resulting in the high crop yield these are having the nature of early maturation because these high yielding crops are having short duration crop growth so there will be early harvesting and these varieties are having the characteristics of 
resistance to many insect pests and diseases which are ultimately resulting in the increased yield wherever if to get the best protection from pests and diseases in these crops there were excessive use of pesticides also these hybrids and varieties are having the characteristics of flood and drought resistance and give better quality yieldings also high quality and quantity of crops can be produced as the hybrid varieties and hybrids are developed considering on various yield contributing factors important hybrid varieties can be found among wheat corn sorghum pearl millet soybean rice potato and cotton crops and they are heavily used in commercial and plantation farms hybrid varieties become popular in the late 1960s and play an important role in the green revolution so we can say to get the food security of the nation these hybrid varieties and hybrids are playing crucial role high yielding variety seeds were developed by scientists to improve food supply and reduce famine in developing countries these high yielding varieties of miracle seeds can produce up to 10 times more crops than regular seeds on the same area of cultivation in mexico professor dr norman bolog and his associates developed new varieties of wheat which were early maturing high productive and disease resistance during late 1960s which played very very important contributing factors in green revolution these varieties were imported and planted in selected regions of india having adequate irrigation facilities within a year of their introduction it was conclusively demonstrated that the yields from the new varieties exceeded 25 to 100 percent compared to the yields from traditional varieties. The seventh five years plan kept a target of 70 million hectares for coverage of area under high yielding varieties. As against this, the actual area under high yielding varieties by the end of seventh plan was only 63.1 million hectares. So it was not reached to the target in 1998-99. the coverage of high yielding varieties rose to 78.4 million hectares so we can say the trend of using high yielding varieties were increasing as the high yielding varieties introduction was concerned the main development was higher yielding varieties of wheat for developing rust resistant strains of wheat the introduction of high yielding varieties of seeds and the improved quality of fertilizers and irrigation techniques led to the increase in production to make the country self sufficient in food grains by improving agriculture in india the methods adopted includes the use of high yielding varieties of seeds with modern farming methods during green revolution the production of wheat has produced the best results in fueling self sufficiency in india related to food production along with high yielding seeds and irrigation facilities the enthusiasm of farmers mobilized the idea of agriculture revolution here to go through how high yielding varieties are contributing to the best in enabling food security and increasing the food production first one is high yielding varieties has shorter life cycle and thereby enables the farmers to go for multiple cropping for example the new seeds of wheat completes the life cycle in 110 to 120 days respectively the traditional varieties of rice and wheat on the other hand takes about 130 to 150 days respectively to harvest the new seeds thus enables the farmers to economize on land second is this high yielding variety seeds needs a lot of water for better yields the yield per unit area is significantly high if it is considered in terms of water required per quintal of wheat or rice production the new seeds require less water as compared to that of the traditional varieties high yielding varieties thus economize on water also as the crop remains in the field for a shorter period 
थर्ड हाई इल्डिंग वेराइटीज अंडर ऑप्टिमल कंडीशन रिक्वायर्स मोर लेबर पर यूनिट एरिया एंड दस हेल्प इन जनरेटिंग मोर इम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रायर टू सन ऑफ हाई इल्डिंग वेराइटीज द फार्मर्स ओवर ग्रेटर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री especially in the rain fed areas were exclusively dependent on the arrival of monsoon for the commencement of their agriculture activities they used to remain unemployed during the months of summer season from may to june months after the harvest of rest of rabi crop but now after the introduction of high yielding varieties the farmers and the dependent laborers get works in various agriculture operations throughout the year fourth Hilding varieties are a skilled neutral and they are benefiting the small farmers the big farmers and the small farmers are likely to get the production and profit in the same proportion in other words the new seeds are not biased towards the big or the small farmers fifth one the adoption of hilding variety doesn't require any special skill and the farmers of various socio economics and cultural backgrounds can adopt the new seed easily a minor adjustment in the sowing dates of wheat is required as hilding varieties needs relatively cool temperatures at the time of sowing for example punjab and haryana the sowing dates of wheat prior to the green revolution were in the third or last week of october when the date temperature were around 35 degrees centigrade but after introduction of high yielding varieties the wheat is generally sown in the satluj ganga plain not before the middle of of november when the day temperature reaches about 30 degree centigrade and night temperature falls around 18 degree centigrade the farmers have however very well adjusted their sowing and harvesting dates on the basis of the experience during the last 30 years so there were some changes in the cultivation practices according to the availability of high yielding varieties so these high yielding varieties are well acquainted to the farmers and they are increasing the productivity and playing important role in food production is development of high yielding varieties are concerned the agriculture institutions played important role production of improved seeds and especially high yielding varieties of seeds was encouraged on the farms of the center and the state governments and by registered seed growers side by side indian council of agriculture research punjab agriculture university at ludhiana jb pant agriculture university at pantnagar and several other research institutes were engaged in the task of developing new hybrid varieties which were suitable to indian conditions and in adopting imported varieties to indian requirements while in selected regions of the country mexican varieties of wheat like lerma rojo 64a and sonara 64 were directly introduced in the initial period and considerable attention was later given to hybridization of mexican material with indian varieties introduction of such high yielding varieties of wheat depends crucially on the availability of fertilizers adequate water supply pesticides and insecticides therefore they have to be launched in a form of package program to get the high productivity and increasing the production of food grains because of their dependence on irrigation they could be adopted only in areas having proper irrigation facilities indian seed programs includes the participation of central and state governments indian council of agriculture research state agriculture universities public sector private sector and private sector institutions for further development of high yielding varieties to increase the production and assuring food security of the nation here to study the role of high yielding varieties in green revolution in its contribution to the attaining food security of the nation by introduction of high yielding varieties there were increase in food grain production the green revolution in agriculture increased the yield of food crops especially rice and wheat and we were able to achieve self sufficiency in food production hilding varieties and green revolution helped the indian government to become independent and self sufficient in producing food grains in the country instead of relying on import in 1979 
it allowed the country to produce a record grain output of 131 million tons. Government of India started maintaining buffer stocks through Food Corporation of India, which was started in 1964. The Food Corporation of India started maintaining buffer stocks of food, fertilizer, and seeds to curb inflammatory trends of the food products. There were increase in farmers' earnings. The earnings of farmers was increased due to the increase in farm production. However, it helped only those farmers who have more than 10 hectares of land. The marginal farmers were not much more benefited, and there were less dependency on imports. Import of food grains from other countries was reduced to a greater extent. Sometimes the country was in a position to export food grains. Besides this, sufficient stocks of food grains was also available to deal with the shortage of food. Furthermore, it also increased the per capita net availability of food grains from 395 grams per day to 436 grams despite the increase in population. Because of increasing the production, there were promotion of capitalistic farming. It promoted capitalistic farming in which farmers with large agricultural land were able to get maximum profit by using green revolution technology and adopting high yielding varieties. Thus, it enabled farmers to increase their level of income and live a prosperous life. Because of high yielding varieties and increasing the production, there were increase in industry growth. It also promoted the growth of the industry that is involved in the equipment required in farming on a large scale such as tractors combines harvesters thresher's electric motors diesel engines pumps etc furthermore the industry engaged in the production of fertilizers insecticides pesticides were were also grown considerably because of this there were also employment generation the growth in the agriculture industry due to commercial farming created new jobs for the workforce so this presentation was all about role of high yielding varieties in food security hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given you my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you